The resultant vector is the sum of two or more vectors. The resultant vector is the sum of q or more vectors. 2.2 is saying that let's explain why the vector diagram of force Fa, force Fb and the weight will not be a closed vector system. Let's explain why the vector diagram of force Fa, force Fb and the weight will not be a closed vector system. So let's go and look at our statement here. You will realize that the first line underlined in green says that a heavy object is lifted using two ropes and two pulleys. So if we have an object being lifted, we cannot have a closed vector diagram because clearly the forces are not balanced. So that's exactly what you're supposed to say. You're supposed to say that the object is lifted, moved upwards, and then as a consequence, we will know fully well that there will be a resultant net force which is not equals to zero. So we cannot have a closed vector diagram. We can only have a closed vector diagram if the resultant net force is equals to zero. So let's move to 2.3 and solve some problems. So 2.3 is saying that uh, let's calculate the vertical component of FA. So let's go ahead and look at our sketch and see where FA is. So if you can just see here, I uh, just circled FA and there we have it. It's at an angle of 70 degrees to the horizontal and we want the vertical component. So which formula do we use? Uh, we say that Fy being the vertical component will be equals to Fa multiplied by sine of theta. From there on, we can just simply substitute. So we're going to have Fy being equals to uh, 730 multiplied by sine of uh, 70 degrees, right? And then if you put that in your calculator, you shall get 685.98 newtons. And that's the vertical component of Fa. The follow-up question, 2.3.2, uh, says that let's find the horizontal component of Fa. When we found the vertical component, we said Fa multiplied by sine of theta. To find the horizontal component, we're going to say Fa multiplied by cos of theta, right? So we're going to have uh, Fx being the horizontal component being equals to Fa multiplied by uh, cos of theta, right? Because we want uh, the horizontal component. Uh, but what is Fa? We know fully well that Fa is equals to 730 and then multiply by cos of 70 degrees, right? And then if you punch that in your calculator, you shall get 249.67 newtons, right? That's how we solve that problem. Now, uh, let's move forward and do 2.4. So just to wrap up 2.3, Every time, if you have, you want to find the vertical component and the horizontal component, uh, you're gonna use sine for the vertical, and then you're gonna use cos for the horizontal. If the angle is situated here, because you can see clearly here that um, the vertical component will be opposite to the angle, right? So if you just use trig ratios here. You're gonna get, uh, let me just write it here. You're gonna get, uh, sine of theta being equals to opposite divided by hypotenuse, right? So we're gonna have, uh, Fy basically, and then our hypotenuse is the force itself, Fa. So from here, you can see that Fa, uh, Fy, I meant, will be equals to Fa multiplied by sine of theta. And then for fx, the trig ratio you are going to use is cos. And then you're going to end up uh, with the formula I'm, I'm proposing here, right? But then uh, let's solve uh, 2.4. I want to show you something. So in 2.4, the question says that let's calculate the maximum weight that force Fa and force B will be able to uh, lift from the ground. Show all all calculations. Let's calculate the maximum weight that force Fa and force B will be able to lift from the ground. Let's show all calculations. What is pulling the object up is the vertical components of Fa and Fb, right? Let me just uh, make that very clear on the sketch. What is pulling the object is the vertical component 
of FB and FA, right? So if the weight of the object is greater than the sum of the two, then we won't be able to pull that object up, right? So the maximum amount of weight that uh, force A and force B will be able to pull up will be equals to the sum of their vertical components, like you can see on the sketch. So what we need to do, we need to calculate the vertical components of FA and FB and add them together. And that will be the maximum weight we are able to carry, right? The horizontal component uh, is not playing a role in pulling the object up per se, right? So we are only interested in the vertical component, right? So the vertical component uh, of FA, I think we already have that. So we're going to have uh, F, uh, A, F, A, Y, right? We're showing that uh, we're talking about uh, the vertical component of FA. It is equals to 685.98 newtons so now we just need uh the vertical component of f uh fb right uh so which formula do we use uh like i've already proposed we use f uh fb multiplied by sine of theta right but then i want you to realize something here we are given this angle which is uh 10 degrees right but then that's not the angle we're supposed to use we're supposed to use uh this angle here we're supposed to use this angle here right so if that angle up there is 10 degrees then this angle here should be 80 degrees and then we can just uh, go ahead and use our formula obviously you can still use that at the angle but then you're gonna have to change a few things on the formula right you're gonna have to go back to the basics well let's just do it this way and maybe after we've done that we can go back and see if we can use the uh, 10 degrees angle so uh let's go ahead we have a force 1000 uh, 440 multiplied by sine of uh, 80, right? Sine of 80 degrees. And then if you punch that uh, in your calculator, you should get uh, 1418.12 uh, newtons, right? So now uh, the maximum weight, like we're proposing, right? So we have maximum weight that uh, the two forces will be able to pull up uh, will be equals to fa y plus fb y right so we have 685.98 plus 1418.12 newtons right if you put that in your calculator real quick you should get 2104.1 newtons right so there we have it this is the maximum weight we are going to be able to carry right so let's come back to fay and see if we can use uh, that other angle right if we use that angle of 10 degrees then we're going to have to use cos instead uh, let me show you why i'm saying so so if we look at uh, this diagram here and then let's highlight uh, the triangle we're interested in so yeah let's look at this so if we use this uh, angle of 10 degrees then the side that is opposite that angle is the x component right the side that is opposite that angle is the x component so for us to use that uh, angle uh, we want uh, the y which is now adjacent right so which trig ratio are we gonna use if we want the y which is now adjacent to that angle we can use cos so instead of saying that we can instead say uh f fby will be equals to fb multiplied by cos of uh theta but then now um the angle won't be 80 anymore we're using the 10 as it is so multiply by cos of 10 and then if you punch that in your calculator you get the same thing 1418.12 right so you have to be careful of which angle you are given and how you're going to maneuver through the problem right yeah i hope that is clear let's move to 2.5 so 2.5 is saying explain why the rope and pulley system will be less effective if the distance x between the pulleys uh is increased 
So I want to show you something. Let's come back to our sketch. So um, let's just have uh, a copy here so that I can demonstrate something. So we have X and then we have uh, the object, right? So the question is saying, what will happen if we increase X? So let's try and increase X and see what happens. So if we increase X, so let's say we increase in X. Uh, let me just show you what will happen here. So we're going to have um, uh, this pulley, this pulley and uh, the object, right? And then here we have an angle. Here we have an angle. So when we have increased X, uh, this will be our angle and then this will be our angle. So because we have decreased that angle, right? The Y components of FA and FB are going to decrease, right? So even the maximum weight uh, the system is going to be able to pull up will have decreased. We're not even sure we're still going to be able to pull that object if we increase X. The system will be less effective.